This is the Odysseus 6K. This is the machine that started out in full rescue mode uh, to assist in the Titan operation. And uh, we were fortunate to have been able to get there uh, as quickly as possible uh, with the mobilization of the team and the help of pretty much the entire community. Once they found out that, that this was happening and we got the call, it was really amazing to see how many people just came here, went to the airport, were just really helping out. So this is, the hero is not necessarily pelagic, but it's really a good example of the entire community. So we feel very blessed and fortunate that we're in East Aurora. So how did you guys even get like the call? Like, what was that first connection? The first connection was we got a call from Ocean Gate, and uh, after their the Titan uh, lost communications, I mean they were working on their process, and through the chain of communication, we were contacted as one of ma one of many assets, one of many um, one of many ROV systems, and. Again, going back to the fact that this really turned into a community effort to get all of this equipment, I mean, a lot of equipment, to the airport. We had a waiting C-17s uh, for the Air Force. There were two on the ground that we were able to start loading. A third one showed up to finish, uh, and we got to St. John's and on the ship as quickly as possible and, uh, and underway. And then we continued mobilization while the ship was en route to the last known location of the Titan. Yeah, and then from like a timeline from like picking this equipment up into the ocean and finding, you know, essentially the, the different debris, what, what, what did that timeline look like? It was hectic, and I, I'll be releasing like the exact timeline okay. because they're, they're, I, I want to be very precise on that because there's, there's quite a bit of misinformation about who did what when, and so we're still pulling all of that together. As you can see, we're, we're still finishing up mobilization. Uh, the trucks showed up, and uh, there, there's one more truck that needs to, to show up. And right now we're cleaning everything putting and putting everything away and getting it back into storage for the next next call really yeah and so how was that you know finding like this this was the first to find a yes. debris yeah like, what, what was that like i mean i i could imagine like so much emotions through your side of the team or like what was that first reaction like it was i i think it it covered a very wide range of emotions. I mean, this is a very, every, everyone here is a very professional and you're very much focused on the mission at hand. It was a rescue mission. We were rigged for rescue. We were ready to get there. The ship Horizon Arctic pulled in to the last known location. We were in the water within uh, under an hour. Uh, and, and when you see the complexity of what's involved, um, in all the testing of the equipment. You can't just throw it in the water and go. You have to make sure that you're not going to be at risk of, of harming or getting in the way of anybody else, because there were a lot of ships out there. There were a lot of, of other vessels, other ROVs. It was a, a very large coordinated effort. And we arrived in the right place at the right time, fortunately. And like I said, we were completely rigged for rescue. We had a, an, an entire plan in coordination with Deep Energy. Unfortunately, they had an ROV. It didn't have the depth um, capability that ours did. And they made a, a really great attempt. I mean, they pushed their ROV beyond their rating just trying to get down there and, and to rescue. Um, unfortunately, it malfunctioned and it was lost as an asset to the search operation and so they had to bring it back up. I know there was some information that people were thinking that it was lost, lost physically, but no, it just lost functionality. And so we, that was able, we were able to, they were able to bring that back up and, uh, and on board the ship. Um, prior to our arrival, and then when we got there, we were the asset to get to, to immediately dive. We pushed our thrust our thrusters to maximum. Typically, we on on mission we're running our top speed is about 25 meters uh, per minute, but in this case, we were 
pushed it to 35. Just really, you know, again, it was rescue. We wanted to get down there. We had a whole plan working in conjunction with uh, Deep Energy and this, uh, we were going to be able to start lifting it up. And uh, obviously that would have been the most ideal the most ideal outcome. Um, unfortunately, we know what happened, and getting back to the just getting back to the idea and the the feeling of emotion in that when you have that professional drive, this is you know first responder rescue. We're going to we want to we want to see it intact. We want to get there. We want to rescue. It was a pure rescue operation. And you can just imagine the emotion of getting to the bottom and unfortunately finding what we found. And so for, our, for the entire team, it was extremely emotional. But at the same time, we are very much professionals. This is what we're trained for. And being able to turn that off, stay focused, it's, uh, it's really a testament to the team. I mean, this is just, like I tell people, this is just how we operate. Um, there has been, since the mission ended, there has been a lot of, you know, as you can imagine, you know, when you turn that off for a while, you have to process that. And we're still all really going through that process. So that's one of the reasons we're not really doing interviews. I'm just speaking right now from an operational standpoint, you know, not going into any specifics about the mission. Um, and so I think it's just important to understand that the emotional factor mm. yeah, that's, okay that's incredible i and the fact that it yeah. came from our community and right and you, you know like you mentioned yeah. it's a whole team right. that went behind this yeah that's pretty it, exactly <laughs> oh, thank you um i think that's it for right now